What's going on guys? Bruce Matz and your host of the show of Metric Scout Fantasy Football. Show that looks at all things fantasy from Redraft, Dynasty, Devi, DFS. Been covering a lot of Devi lately for you college football diehards. And I like to cover it in an aspect where fantasy gamers can get something and college fans can get something out of it as well. And right now we're approaching week one. I've got a lot of Oklahoma fans watching the channel, hitting me up in the chat and stuff. I'm getting a lot of that Boomer Sumer, and I'm loving it. So I want to talk about them today. I want to talk about this two-lane game. It's not going to be much of a game because Sooners are going to blow them out. But I'm going to talk about each player from the offensive standpoint, from a Debbie fantasy football perspective. Hopefully, the fans of Oklahoma and the Debbie players, they get something out of both sides from this. If not, it'd be some decent content. But I really like... Spencer Rattler this year, everybody does, should be the top quarterback draft in this year's draft, should have a good year, he should be blowing it up here against Tulane, that's why I'm expecting that from him this year, I expect big things from him, top quarterback drafted, obviously in the Heisman race, should win it, honestly, if he has a good year, he should be a front runner for that, if not, then something happened. But I like him no matter what. I think no matter what, he's going to have a good season. One thing I like about him from a fantasy football standpoint is his mobility, is his ability to pick up some yards on the ground. That just gives you a little bit of a floor in fantasy. I also just like his ability to throw the football. The most intriguing part about Oklahoma for me from watching them and what I want to see is Eric Gray, how he transitions to this team. He... Came from Tennessee. Tennessee is the Michigan of the South. T Tennessee is not very good to their prospects. Eric Gray, unfortunately, had to deal with those circumstances, but now he's in Oklahoma. A prime situation for him. He's got a good quarterback around him, wide receivers, open offense, and I think he's going to be better than expected. Think of Zach Charbonnet going to UCLA, busting out three touchdowns last week against Hawaii. We could see something like that with Gray. I expect a few good runs out of him at least this week. I expect a damn good season from Eric Gray. I expect Sooners fans to be wowed by him. I expect Eric Gray to elevate his draft stock big time this year. And then the, we got Kennedy Brooks here. He's been with the team for a while. He's a good back. From a Debbie fantasy football standpoint, Dynasty League fantasy football standpoint, the value is not really there that much. But from a true football standpoint, he's a good back. He gets the job done. He does a lot of good things. You can count on him. He did show well earlier in his career. He's been productive. If he can step up, if Eric Gray doesn't take the reins, but I think Oklahoma fans are going to love Eric Gray, then he could jump up a bit. I wouldn't count on it from a dynasty fantasy football perspective, but you never know. Sooners fans, I like Eric Gray. You guys are going to like him too if you've not seen much of him yet. A lot of you have seen the spring game and stuff. A lot of you are intelligent. If you've seen him, you're knowledgeable about your team, but Eric Gray's a dude, man. Um, Theo Weiss is hurt. That's going to change things in the offense for the wide receivers. However, Marvin Mims is the guy I've been watching. Broke out last year as a freshman. Was very productive. When a wide receiver breaks out early in their career, freshman, sophomore, more, more, more or less freshman year, they start stealing targets. They start stealing a lot of that target share. That means they're on to something. That means that's a good player. That means that's a wide receiver that's going to elevate their game they're going to develop so I'm going to watch Marvin Mims hard in year two I think he's got some good things in his game I like his route running I like his ability to catch the ball we also have Mike Woods there who will get a lot of snaps and Jaden Hasselwood should get an increase in snaps with Theo Weiss out Marvin Mims is the main guy I'm watching all in all the recap this whole team but you also got Austin Stonger from a dynasty fantasy football standpoint from the tight end position and it's just how you play the game from a dynasty fantasy football perspective. Tight ends, the position itself does not hold as much value. It takes longer for these players to develop at the NFL level. It doesn't mean they're trash. It doesn't mean anything like that. It's just you just got to wait for them. So pretty much you just wait for the draft process to get here. Or it's an elite level guy, five-star player, and you just jump on them quick. But the recap on this Oklahoma team... I'm very excited about Eric Gray. I'm excited for him. 
I'm excited to see how he transitions with this team. I'm expecting big things. I, I'm expecting him to push to be one of the top running backs in the country. Um, Spencer Rattler is a dog. He is going to show up and ball out. We, they should blow out Tulane with ease. Spencer Rattler shouldn't be on the field for the whole game. These running backs will be intermixed. And just going to be a fun season. I'll have more Oklahoma content out throughout the season. As long as you guys keep watching. Give me them thumbs up. I want to thank you guys for watching the show. Sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription fuels me to keep pumping out these videos. So thank you for doing so. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs>